Well, firefighters at that Sleepy Hollow fire in Wenatchee are shifting from response to recovery. And now residents who lost their homes are left to figure out how to move forward. Fire officials calling it a firestorm as it ripped through almost 3,000 acres, destroying 29 homes and damaging four industrial buildings on Sunday. And investigators say it was human caused. KXY Forest Grace Ditzler working for you. She toured what was left of one of those homes and learned how one family is keeping their hopes alive in the midst of devastation. We made it a home with the kids. It's something Scott Marbo never expected at the home he built on 2042 Maiden Lane. This has a lot of good times and bad times. Tiles once on the roof, now crunching under his feet. And we hit and we saw the fire way off in the distance. It started and then when it came over the hill, it, I mean, it just came down. It ran. The Marbos thought their home was ready to withstand a fire. We had sprinklers in the canyon. It was always cut back. It was a tile roof. It was, it was dry bit. It was, you know, it was the fire department had come up and seen it over time and said, hey, you guys are good. And it was just so hot. It was so hot. And it came over that hill just, it just came so fast. And, and then all of a sudden, it, it was just, it was gone. The family lost almost everything. A decades-old piano, college football recruitment letters, keepsakes for the kids Scott collected traveling the world, something he hoped they'd have forever. I was going to put together and had them all organized, and when they had their own kids, I was going to... I was going to surprise them with that. <laughs> And it's those little things. So much shock, yet still some surprises. You look at it now and then and you don't, you don't really notice it until you don't notice it. And all of a sudden, that's the first thing we saw when Mary Beth and I came up here on Monday morning and it just... It just floors it. These garden statues that are scattered around the Marbo's yard is pretty much all that's left of their home. And now these statues have become a symbol of the hope that's remaining within this family. Not everything's lost. It's, it's just you, you hug each other and you move on and you've got your family and everybody's healthy and, and we got each other and so we go. And so they go. That's all just memories now. To pick up the pieces of a life they've built together over the last 25 years. We'll find stuff. I'm sure something, when we least expect, it'll show up in there. Reporting in Wenatchee, Grace Ditzler, KXLY 4 News.